Hi, this is Rolf from Tesla Owners US and today we are in the beautiful Tucson and we are next to the depot in Tucson here and behind me I'm going to show you that are the mountains and the Mount Lemon because we were here because of the boost bumps and what follows after that I will tell you they had a real big adventure the last four weeks. Day Tucson and uh, we can tell you a big story about the band because the band had a tour about four weeks through the United States, uh, California, New Mexico, Texas and also Louisiana and they had quite some adventures with their uh, old tour bus where they fit all people in and all equipment as well including PA and and the amazing thing is on the first days they had already two tires are being busted and they got some replacement of their tires they always have some helpers there where they are going and uh, find some people who help them with their repairs but the most amazing thing was the, the just shortly was actually they stole them the exhaust cleaning system and how they did that, it is they had their car or their bus parked directly in front of the hotel with the camera on, with the camera surveillance camera on, and they cut the exhaust uh, box or the cleaning box directly out of the uh, car, and then the next morning it was just missing when they started the engine. Ich sah es in etwas Messing. Okay, kurze Bestandsaufnahme. Vor zwei Tagen, Sonntagnacht, in Houston, Texas, wurde uns vor dem Hotel, trotz Kamera und beleuchtet, direkt vor der Lobby ein Stück Auspuff geklaut. Sprich, irgendwelche Vollidioten haben den Katalysator rausgesägt und quasi entwendet. Das einzig Gute an der ganzen Sache ist jetzt, dass wir jetzt wirklich mal einen amtlichen Sound haben bei der Karre. It's a catalytic converter and it's this most expensive part with a lot of uh, special minerals or with a lot of, uh, not special minerals, special metals, the titanium, uh, gold, cobalt, that's all in catalytic converters and uh, they stole it out and maybe they can sell it for a thousand dollar on the open market but they left without a catalytic converter and that is not a good idea. So they drove then without a color to the converter in the next venue. When they left there, they informed the people that they need a spare part for that. And 
I hope that I can show you some pictures of that. They showed me some pictures. So what then happened after they left is there was an electrical cable for control or for a sensor going to that catalytic converter. So they're driving through Texas on a high mountain pass and in the middle of about 2,000 meters of more than 5,000 feet high, uh, the car stopped all of a sudden. And it was close to the Mexican border, so there were border patrol there as well. And there was no cellular reception uh, in that, at that location. So they had to find someone who brings them to the next cellular uh, reception. So there was a snow plower because there was ice and snow on that pass there. There was a snow plower there. And uh, after a while, they, they, they st he stopped and then they came back and they helped him. He, they drove about 30 miles to the next reception for, to get some help. And then they uh, had to go back and they got stopped from the border police. At least the uh, band leader Stefan got stopped from the border police. And there, uh, the, he did not have any passports with him. So, but he said, hey, we got stuck on the road and uh, actually the border police was really helpful. And at the end, uh, they actually drove him there. And uh, in the meantime, it was far below freezing. The band was freezing in the van there. And the, the police offered him also help to, that they can warm up in the car uh, while the while the repair guys were coming so they had to tow him tow him to the next location and they had to re repair this portion as well and they actually did in El Paso and one of the venues they had to cancel because they couldn't make it anymore because it took too, too many time uh, or too, take, took too much time to stop no, or to, to do all the repairs and uh, finally now they made it to Tucson and we heard about all of the big stories there uh, I think the next time we will give him a, uh, a phone uh, an Iridium phone so that reception worldwide or if ever Starlink comes up and they do phones as well so I would give them a, a Starlink phone or at least a, a capability to communicate uh, via Starlink so that they are not getting lost in the middle uh, of a mountain pass with snow and ice actually that could become pretty dangerous so I hope that everything we hoped and we were glad that everything worked out so the last one is on Sunday when this will be coming live this video room on Sunday afternoon three o'clock where they're playing with two other bands it's actually a lucky dog rescue event from what my wife does she's uh, uh, been in the board of directors from the dog rescue there and help uh, help this organization there and we have a big fundraiser event there one of the guitars is being uh, uh, raffled out and all other big prizes for that as well. Yeah, that was the story of the guys from uh, the Booze Bums and they are four weeks already over and we will see them on Sunday and I will see over on Sunday as well and what I'll let you know as well, we uh, over and me, we will have in my garage again 
in the oil-free garage. We will have another live stream on Wednesday noon and uh, we will answer English as well as German questions. Most of the people are from Germany. They want to know what's happening in the United States. And we want to talk about what's happening in the United States and with car companies and what will happening with car companies in Germany now. Look, uh, TNT Mobility, e-mobility from Ovis channel. I'm gonna link that channel here as well in my video and uh, check up, check there and uh, we will be uh, waiting for you and we will answer questions what you might want to know. So see you next time, thumbs up and please subscribe and we will give you more interesting videos. Bye bye. Say. I went and said